Microchips help reunite lost pets with their owners all the time. However, when a Fuquay Verena vet recently scanned a cat brought into the office, he couldn't really believe what he saw or believe the story behind it. CBS 17's Maggie Newland explains an incredible journey that starts in the Midwest a decade ago and ends here in Central North Carolina. Hey, Bob. He definitely has become quite the celebrity. Bob the cat is getting the star treatment at Five Points Animal Hospital in Fuquay Verena. Everybody knows Bob. His journey to Five Points didn't seem remarkable at first. One of our clients who's um, got his pets that come here had Bob living on his porch for a while and thought, I should probably bring him in and see if he's owned by anybody. We scanned his microchip. Animal hospital owners Scott and Kevin Wilson could hardly believe the information the microchip scan revealed. When we contacted the database, they said she was in Wichita, Kansas, and we were like, that can't be possible. In Wichita, Kansas, Carol Holmes felt a similar sense of disbelief. It was surreal. <laughs> it really was. I was just so stunned. She learned the cat she'd lost 10 years ago turned up 1,200 miles away. She says the cat was named after her father, and she got the news that Bob had been found on what would have been her dad's 94th birthday. It was kind of a surprise for her, you know, that bittersweet moment because she said she'd been thinking about her dad for so long. Neither Carol nor the Wilsons know where Bob's been over the past decade. We were kind of like, there's no way this cat walked all the way from Wichita. So we would love to know Bob's story. Um, but, you know, Bob's the only one who knows his story. But they hope this will remind people to microchip their pets and make sure the information is current. If your pet has a microchip, you need to get your information updated in the microchip database whenever it changes. As for Bob, he'll stay here for a little while while the Wilsons figure out a way to get him home. She is, you know, she's been missing him all these years. So, yeah, we're ready to get him home. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.